Storm Team Weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Josh Johns. Welcome back, everyone. So we're going to have some up and down temperatures. You know, we're about to hop on a temperature roller coaster because today we were in the 70s. Tomorrow we'll be in the 80s and then things go crazy, especially <laughs> as we head towards the weekend. Look at how today ended up, though. Plenty of sunshine out there once we busted out of the low clouds that you woke up with this morning. And that sunshine, along with the drier air, allowed those temperatures to really get up there. We got up to around 75 for your high temperature. There's sunset. Pretty nice sunset out there. A lot of dust off to the west with the drier air in there, but nothing like what we saw on Saturday. No dry air going on there. Today, our high was 75. Our low was 52. Should be at 66 and 40 this time of year. Our record, by the way, 96 in 2009 and 18 cold degrees in 1934. We may be going a little bit closer to those for lows by the time we get into the start of next week. We're hopping on this temperature roller coaster that starts with a cold front that arrives tomorrow and into tomorrow night. That's going to lead to some colder temperatures for Thursday. A stronger front, though, will bring back a taste of winter as we head towards the weekend. Today, we were in the 70s. Tomorrow, we'll be in the 80s. Then in the 60s, Thursday. Thursday's actually kind of questionable. And then we'll be back at 81 Friday before that next Front arrives. Here's why Thursday's questionable. Look at this cold air to the north. 37 in Wichita Falls, but it's in the 60s in Abilene, or at least the upper 50s. That cold air is pretty sharp, and that's what's going to be coming down as we go into tomorrow night and into Thursday, and it'll stall out somewhere. The question is, when will it lift back north? More on that in a second. Look at these temperatures outside right now, though. We're in the 50s. 58 currently in Eden. It's 57 at Barnhart, 50 degrees in Ozona, 61 right now in Robert Lee, and 59 here in San Angelo. Those dew points are in the 50s as well, so it's kind of a humid 50s, and it'll be humid when you wake up in the morning with the south winds continuing to pull in that Gulf moisture. Winds right now blowing out of the south at about 5 to 10 miles per hour, and that'll lead to those clouds being back in the morning, those low clouds, kind of like what we woke up with today. Although Although you can't see them currently on the live radar network, they are pulling up to the north. There are also a few showers and thunderstorms over across southeast Texas. Had some hail earlier southeast of Houston. Now seeing those storms pull over towards uh, Beaumont and also bringing some flooding there. Those are pulling away from us, though. This cold front is stalled out to our north, and tomorrow it continues pushing south. we got that dry line that was there today. Tomorrow it's here, too. It's going to be a little bit closer to us tomorrow, though. That's why we'll get warmer. Dry air is in the middle levels of the atmosphere currently on water vapor, but here comes all this moisture again. Tomorrow's going to be a cloudier day, and that in turn will try to keep temperatures out of the 80s. But when we bust down the sunshine, I think we'll reach it. Tomorrow we start off in the 50s, another muggy start. And then as we get into the afternoon, if we can clear those skies, we'll be in the 80s easily. Right now, models showing in the upper 70s. Then that front comes through tomorrow night. We drop into the 40s quickly by 2.30. You'll wake up in the 40s, maybe a few upper 30s in our northern counties. And then that front lifts back up as a warm front. Here's why things are tricky on Thursday. The timing of that warm front will depend on your high temperatures, and that means temperatures could range from the 60s up to the 40s, and then in the afternoon, we could see some 80s and even 50s to the north. Right now, I'm shooting in the middle and only putting highs in the 60s there for Thursday, but it could easily be a day we hop up to 80, or it could be a day we stay in the 40s. Things really get interesting as we go into the weekend, though. That's when this next round of cold air arrives. We warm up Friday, and then as we head into Saturday and Sunday, here comes that blast of Arctic air. We could be talking about highs in the 30s on Monday. Going to be a cold stretch of days to start off your March. Tonight, down to around 55, partly cloudy, humid, and mild. We'll see winds out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. For your Wednesday, I'm calling for a high of 80 degrees, partly sunny, sunny, and warm with west winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And as you take a look at that extended forecast, temperatures in the 60s Thursday. But again, that's a guess. Well, that's not your seven-day forecast. That's your temperature outlook. This is what I'm talking about, that cold air coming in, though, as we head into the start of next week. Here's your seven-day forecast. Wednesday, 80, 62, Thursday. That's a guess because the models are ranging from literally 49 to 76. Oh. It's a big spread, and it all depends on when that warm front comes. Right now, I've got 62 on the board. 82 Friday, 59 Saturday. Then the bottom falls out. 42 Sunday, 39 Monday. We could be talking about temperatures dropping into the teens Tuesday morning. So don't put that jacket away yeah. yet. <laughs> winter's not done yet. I saw my shadow there in the weather center, so we're bringing back winter for a little bit longer, and then spring will eventually come. Eventually. Eventually. <laughs> All right, thanks, Josh. Coming up, see how a group of bikers helped a Texas sixth grader who was a victim of bullying.